Remember Javon Quinterly from Jelly Fam? Javon joined the basketball bloodline after his buddies Isaiah Washington and Jaquay James started the movement. They took fancy finger rolls to a whole other level and revived the swagger of the legendary New York basketball scene. Javon and the rest of the Jelly Fam were already legends in high school, but where is JQ now? I'm Riley Wynn and I'm here to tell you just what happened to Jelly Fam's Javon Quinterly. If you didn't already know what Jelly Fam is, let me give you a quick rundown before diving into Javon's journey. Isaiah Washington was inspired by Zeke and MJ and how they would double clutch on layups. The Jelly, as they coined it, was taking your hand back like you're gonna dunk, but then bringing it back under to do a finger roll. Then you can add whatever flair you want. The move and the Jelly Fam's confidence drew in huge crowds both on social media and in the parks of New York. Okay, that's Jelly Fam 101, now back to Javon. The six foot, 175 pounder played point guard at Hudson Catholic High School. He played varsity all four years where he averaged 16.6 points a game, 4.3 assists, and one and a half steals. Jelly Fam JQ balled out so hard, he was back to back Gatorade player of the year in Jersey. He was a top 30 player in the country, a consensus five star recruit, and it was named to the McDonald's All-American team his senior year. Javon followed in Isaiah Washington's footsteps and headed to the next level, but not without a few speed bumps along the way. JQ originally committed to Arizona. This was around the time they were being investigated by the FBI for paying recruits. And the investigation suggested that Javon had taken 15 grand from one of the assistant coaches. This was a scandal he did not want to be a part of, so he reopened his recruitment and committed to Villanova off the heels of their national championship in 2018. His freshman year at Nova was not stellar. He didn't get a ton of playing time and didn't produce too well when he was actually on the court. He took to Instagram in frustration, which caused a bunch of controversy. And at the end of the season, he announced he would be transferring. In 2019, Javon transferred to Alabama, but he had to sit out the next year due to the transfer rules. His time at Bama was much more fruitful. In 2021, he averaged just under 13 points a game for the season and was the SEC tournament MVP as he led Bama to the tournament title game. Jelly Fam and the Crimson Tide also made it all the way to the Sweet 16 that year during March Madness. The next season, the Tide made it back to the tournament, but lost in the first round where JQ suffered a torn ACL. It was unsure if Javon would return to the team, but in April of 2022, he announced he was coming back to play for Nate Oates and the Crimson Tide. Javon also announced he had partnered with Slam Magazine to create his own line of grape jelly. I don't know if it tastes good, but I never thought I'd say a jar of jelly looks cool. We'll have to see how this upcoming season goes for JQ. He's still got two years of college eligibility, but before the injury, there was talks he'd make a move towards the NBA. It would be huge for New York basketball and hoop culture if one of Jelly Fam's founding fathers made it to the league. And I hope he makes it because they're already sold out of the jelly and I gotta slap that on a PB&J. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. I'm Riley Wynn, see you on the next one.